What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to enable and use NVIDIA NIS either globally on your PC for all applications or for specific applications only, which is probably what you want. This video will show you how to enable NIS for practically any game, whether it supports it or not. It's super simple. If you'd like to learn more about NVIDIA NIS and see possible downsides if you're on an ultra-wide monitor, which doesn't seem to have the best support right now, if you simply search for NVIDIA NIS, you'll likely come across my video over here, which you'll find linked in the description down below, showing you some more details. So without further ado, where do we start? Well, first of all, the easiest way to do this is by using NVIDIA GeForce Experience. If you're someone like me who never uses that, if you don't use Shadowplay, you don't need to install it. It just means that you will have to go through extra steps and you'll be scaling not just your game, but Windows as well. So I highly recommend you use the NVIDIA GeForce application. For that, you'll need to head across to NVIDIA's website, for which you'll find a link down below, and you'll be downloading the latest driver. Simply punch in whatever graphics card you have, your operating system, click search, download, and install it, but just make sure that you either have the typical installation selected, or if you do go advanced, make sure that you have GeForce Experience selected to install as well. Once it has installed, open up NVIDIA GeForce Experience, and inside of here, after you sign in with an NVIDIA account, either create one or sign in with an existing one, you'll see a list of all of your games. Whether you choose to automatically optimize them or not, I don't find that feature is so useful as doing it manually, you'll have almost everything listed here. At the very top, click the settings cog wheel and you'll be taken across to the general section. I don't think you need it, but if you'd like, you can enable experimental features, which will update and restart NVIDIA GeForce experience. I just have this on as there's some features I like to use, such as the new status overlay. You can toggle with Alt and R to show you a bunch of info on any app, game, etc. Regardless, what you're going to want to do is come to the general tab here and scroll down to the very bottom where you see image scaling. All you have to do is enable this here and now your display resolution should be off by quite a bit. What you need to do is adjust your Windows desktop resolution from whatever it is now back to what it was before, either by opening the NVIDIA control panel or right clicking on the desktop and using the display settings in here. I'll be using display settings, I'll select my correct monitor and I'll simply choose the right resolution here. For me, I'm using an ultra wide, so I would change it back to this. However, if you're not having any issues and the resolution is correct, there's nothing you need to worry about here. Something that has changed for me is the scaling, which I usually leave on 100%. So resetting that back down, we're now back where we were before with Nvidia image scaling enabled. All you have to do is look over here at these different percentages. You can choose whatever percentage you'd like to use by default, and you should see some new resolutions here inside of Windows. Now, something you'll need to take note of, if you're like me, with an ultra wide, it's 3840 by 1440, meaning it's the 4K resolution wide and only 2K resolution high, you will get something odd like this. As you can see, it scales all the way up to 3840 by 1440, but here it gives me percentages all the way down to 67, which is 2K. That doesn't make sense, as this thinks my screen is a 4K monitor. That isn't correct. That's one of the issues and side effects that you'll come across with an ultra wide monitor. You'll have resolutions that you're not necessarily used to, or it'll think your monitor is a lot bigger than it actually is. Regardless, if I push it to anything below this over here, it'll be working properly. Say I could scale 1080p up to 2K. Simply by selecting 1080 here, whenever I launch up a game, it should launch in 1080p or I'll be able to select it. There's also a sharpening option here. You can crank up and crank down, but I'd usually leave this around 20, 25, or 30. You can adjust it higher if things are too blurry or lower if things are too sharp and jagged. So regardless, now that we have this set, all we need to do is fire up any game. For this, I'll launch, say, Forza Horizon 5. It doesn't really matter what game you launch or from where, it's working all over our system. All we have to do is make sure that in the game, we actually choose the correct resolution. So I'll launch it up here from Steam. Anyways, now I've launched up my game over here. I'll click the options here and head across to video. Now, as you can see, it's picked an odd resolution here. It's very low and it's scaling it up quite a bit. This will be a lot easier for you if you're not using an ultra wide monitor. It's detecting that my screen is 2560 by 1440. If I apply this, it'll look a lot better for you. Awesome. Now we'll click back one. And if you're using an ultra wide, you'll get some odd resolutions here, or even maybe not. If you're not using an ultra wide, you may still get odd resolutions here. What you need to do is find one that is 16 by 9, 21 by 9, whatever your current monitor is. 
1920 by 1440 is definitely not the same aspect ratio as 2560 by 1440. If you divide your original monitor's resolution, say 2560 divided by 1440, 1920 divided by 1080, whatever that number is, is the aspect ratio. You should pick a resolution here that has the same aspect ratio. So if I click down one more, 1920 by 1200, that's still not correct, 1920 by 1080 is. This is also 16 by 9, and it's a lot smaller than 2K, 2560 by 1440. So I'll click Save here, Accept, and the game will change. Automatically, it's using NVIDIA image scaling, and you'll know that if you see a green NIS logo in the top left-hand side. Now, you don't see this on my current monitor, as it's only being sent in between my graphics card and my monitor. OBS itself is recording at 1080p. If I crank this down to 720, it'll record at 720p, etc. Something else you may notice is that the frame rate gets confused as well, so you'll also need to set that if it changes. If you do have NVIDIA image scaling on, you don't need to worry about resolution scaling, DLSS, or anything like that inside of the game, as those are all extras. If you use too many resolution scaling or techniques like that, Fidelity FX, etc., you could be losing quite a bit of quality. Rather pick one image scaling technique and stick with it. If we use DLSS, it'll create some weird artifacts, and if we use NIS, it shrinks it down, blows it up bigger without using AI, and it may result in larger artifacts than before, making things look really odd. Now, of course, I could fire up a benchmark and see what kind of FPS I'm getting at 1080p, even though it's being upscaled. I could crank it up to 2K, and show you the difference, but there's not really a point. Everyone knows that by rendering in a smaller window, you'll get higher FPS. That's exactly what NVIDIA NIS is. It's like DLSS in that it makes your window bigger, scales it up, and it looks rather nice. But the only difference between NVIDIA NIS and DLSS is that it doesn't use AI to upscale it. So it won't look as good and as crispy as, say, something like DLSS, powered by AI, but there shouldn't be weird artifacts left behind, especially if you're not going too high. That being said, it's all up to your experimentation. You should get a huge FPS boost by rendering in a smaller resolution and using NIS as much as you'd get using DLSS or another technology like that that's only available on newer graphics cards. Currently, I don't have access to DLSS. I may have soon. So when I do, I may do a comparison video between, say, DLSS and NIS. So if you're interested, do subscribe and I'll get around to that at some stage. But hopefully this video clears up a lot of misinformation around NIS and shows you how to set it up properly. The good thing about having this set here is that if I alt it for out of the game, I'm back in Windows and everything's in 2K the way it was before. If you'd like to set it globally for Windows, you can open up the NVIDIA control panel, manage 3D settings, and you'll see image scaling at the very top. You can turn it off and on and adjust the sharpening over here as well. You can also turn off the overlay indicator so you don't see NIS. You'll probably also have noticed that you've lost a couple of options here. Don't worry about that. If you can't change the resolution here, you'll simply need to do it within Windows. So display settings and simply change it here to be whatever you'd like it to be. This will be scaled up using NVIDIA NIS, whether you're playing a game or not. So rather leave this at the default resolution, or you can crank it down if you'd like to scale up, say, your browser for some reason. Maybe this video here. But anyways, that's up to your experimentation. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.